I got a PlayStation 3 at a thrift store for 11 bucks. So far, it seems like it works. It's just missing its hard drive. The PlayStation 3 supports up to a 1.5 terabyte hard drive, which makes one terabyte SSDs the best option, which is also why I'm gonna use a thrift store $5 hard drive. It's one terabyte, so this is a good idea. We're also gonna need a flash drive formatted in FAT32. First, if you're gonna upgrade your hard drive, flip over the PlayStation 3, you're gonna open up this cover right here, remove the screw, and then the front cover will come off. Then you'll see a tray for the hard drive that you'll pull out, which I don't have. You'll remove your old hard drive from the tray, then swap it out with a new one, and then you'll reinstall the hard drive. Now, when you turn on the PS3, you're gonna come to this screen here. We'll plug in the PlayStation 3 controller and press the home button, and then it's gonna ask you to plug in a flash drive with the last firmware that it supported. We're gonna grab the official update file from the PlayStation website and save it, then plug the flash drive in the PC. We're gonna go to Rufus.ie and we're gonna download the tool. We're gonna make sure the flash drive is selected, it's set to non bootable, MBR, and that it's set to FAT32. Then we'll press start. Inside the flash drive, we're gonna create a PS3 folder, an update folder, and we're gonna move the firmware file we downloaded into them. We'll put the flash drive in the PS3 and press start and select on the controller. And when this warning pops up, we're gonna hold the start and select buttons for five seconds. Then you go through the first time console setup, and then the PS3 is up and running.